How you guys doing today? It's uh, Thomas here, Dilly Dilly to you guys. Um, hope you guys are having a great day. I am. Um, there's a train in the background. <laughs> it's a CSX train. <laughs> um, I'm glad somebody's out working. <laughs> anyway, um, my video today is to discuss what's going on with uh, my favorite two, uh, Will Smith and and uh, Chris uh, Rock. Um, if you guys happen to know that Chris Rock had decided to change his um, his attitude on what happened um, and decided to press charges uh, against uh, Mr. Smith uh, for what happened on that night, and I I would uh, say it was his decision to, to take whatever action he chose to. And looking at the totality of it, if that would have been me, I would have had to press charges. The, the reason why is that this was an unprovoked attack. Yes, he, he made a, a weak joke about his, his wife. He's a comedian. That's what he does. Um, when he came up, up, up on stage to uh, assault him and battery him, that was not right. He um, he was in. The, he didn't need to do that, and I think what's all has been established now, um, with hindsight being 2020, he felt that that was not the correct course of action, and uh, I would agree with you on that. And like I said before, kudos to Chris Rock for you know not retaliating. Um, and um, he took the high road, which was uh, the high road in this case was to not do anything. He's a professional. He let the whole thing play out, which which you should have done. Uh, for Will Smith on a second hand, I've seen the video of him uh, laughing when the joke went through. And then his wife gave him the, the wink and a nod. So you better get up on that. And so. Um, and she bullied him. <laughs> I'm a married man also. And so I know what that look looked like, <laughs> you know, I'm back chilling. And then she gave me that look, you know, that means is that <laughs> you get on your job, bro. <laughs> I don't like it. And, and his, uh, emotions took over. Uh, he wasn't thinking, uh, and that was the, the problem that led to this whole incident. So, um, analysis time was whole this whole thing. The the one thing that uh, I've looked at this three four different ways, and and the the first thing that I'm going to say, and it, it, it might seem controversial, but this is what what I found, and and the first thing is that you can't allow your emotions to to rule you. You can't. Uh, I know passions are high, and had he was sticking with his with his brain instead of with his heart, this wouldn't have turned out that way. But that's what happened. And Chris Rock, on the other hand, he wasn't thinking with his heart; he was thinking with his head. He's like, you know, um, uh, you hit me, but I'm I'm not going to go that way. I'm I'm going to do a higher calling. I'm going to think of my brain instead of with my heart or with my fist because the natural thing is to, okay, guys, take a swing at me. Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to parry and, and, and come across and, and, and give him a, give him a hit back. But he didn't do that. That was the correct thing. Um, not knowing, um, uh, Chris Rock's history. I'm figuring that he grew up in the black neighborhood, and um, and I'm pretty sure that he's not seen <laughs> at least one fight. <laughs> so, and he know, and he's probably been in a fight too. I myself have been in fights too. I, I will admit that, but uh, as an adult, uh, I try not to, and I and I and I don't, I, you know. So um, that was the correct course. Now, moving forward, now. Uh, Mr. Smith had decided to uh, resign from the academy, uh, and that was probably okay. 
And he said that, from what the news report said, that he's going to submit himself. He probably might have already did uh, because the charges have been filed against him. But bottom line is this: this nothing's going to happen to this. This is this is going to be a nothing burger. Okay. Will Smith has a bank account with a couple dollars. Okay. I don't know how much, but I know he got more in his bank account than I do. And I know that he has some high powered attorneys. So his butt is going to be covered. You know, he's he's not facing any jail time at all. This is this is going to be um a hiccup for him. He's got the money, he's got the power, he's got the influence. You know, it's gonna be like brush your shoulders off, you know, because this because he is uh, he's like the Godfather. <laughs> Nothing sticks to him. Um, uh, Chris Rock, um, and he knows how this game is because he he has uh, he has fixers, and I know Will Smith has fixers, you know, um, and this is not gonna be a problem for him. Now, what I do see is that they're gonna be some monetary uh exchanging going on because uh he can't go out like that no and and his career has been has been damaged yes because the video has been all over the world people have seen it it's going to go into eternity and people will see him and and he will be the brunt of jokes people will say oh you know you try to you try to chris rock me or something like that and that's going to leave a, a, a long-standing mark and, and to the end of time they're going to, i can't you can't unsee that so uh and he can say that his career has been impacted and uh rightly so and so he's going to seek legal recourse so what we're seeing play out is uh a high level of uh people who have a couple dollars if you have the money or have the goal, you know, you can make your own rules. And that's exactly what's going to happen. The Academy is not going to do anything to him. Uh, Will Smith is going to keep his, his Oscar. He's not going to turn it in. He, they're going to keep it. They're going to say, okay, but we're just going to slap you on the wrist, you know. And he did the right thing. So nothing's going to happen to this. I mean, what we're talking about now is, is just uh, moving the chessboard, moving the pieces on the chessboard because – um, in the end of this, nothing's really going to happen. Uh, Chris Tuck, Chris, Chris, Tuck, Chris Rock is going to get a couple dollars. Will Smith going to say, "Oh, I'm sorry because X, Y, Z," you know, and and he's not going to face any jail time. It's going to be swept under the rug, you know. It's this, you know. So, you know. So, what I've learned in, in this, this is a, a lesson. I, I, I saw two lessons in this whole thing so far. The first lesson is is that uh, don't let your uh, emotions take take you to a place that you don't want to be. Try to maintain strength. Uh, think things through. Don't make emotional decisions uh, when you, you need to lead with your heart. It shouldn't lead with your heart. You should lead with your brain because your brain is the person or the part of your body that's going to direct you into the right course of action. When you think with your heart, you're leading with your heart, that means your emotions are, are gonna be uh, up and down. Strong emotions, either with uh, strong anger or even strong love. People do strange things. I mean, <laughs> people can, you know, if you're in love and you know, you can get yourself into some real trouble, you know, financially. Uh, and emotionally, with dealing with strong emotions, also, also dealing with strong hate. And uh, there's some uh, Bible verses that I've seen uh, where people with strong emotions uh, and also um, either with, with um, their heart, uh, either being happy or being in love or strong emotions, being angry, people will do uh, strange things. So. The second thing that I see here is that, fly around here, uh, is that the more money that you have, the more options that you have. Um, that's the case in my point. Um, I have some, some financial situations and I, if I had uh, opportunity to have more money, um, 
I would have a lot more opportunities. So what you see and play out is definitely an economic situation here. Uh, if you have options or have the have the wherewithal or have the money, the access to money, you you are less likely to um, to have some good representation. Um, and he has a, a, a lot of resources, if you know what I'm talking about. So um, that has to call into us. We need to get our own financial house in order so that we can generate enough income so that in case anything happens uh, that we can protect ourselves and protect uh, our uh, livelihood and protect our family. Um, I'm here at the casino and there's a lot of people there uh, gambling and they're throwing their money away. I don't know what their situation is but in my opinion this is me so I'm not, I don't know what their deal is but um, they're giving their money away to the casino and a lot of people, you know, the casino is in the business of making money. <laughs> Not for you, for them. So you're just handing over your money to them. So um, if you can keep that money and, and put it in a good growth stock mutual fund or uh, do some other things, or even, uh, you know, being at work, <laughs> getting a couple extra dollars, as opposed to just coming over here to the casino and, and losing it at all, and then you're... you're, you're <laughs> It's not a good situation, but the thing is, is that try to improve your economic situation at all costs. I mean, it'll help you in the long run as opposed to giving it to somebody else. So anyway, that's just my take on this whole situation. Uh, and it's and I think it's a it's a it's a great lesson for people. Um, you just got to think a little bit deeper into what you see and what you and what you and what you think is going on. The thing is, is what I've learned also is uh, you see this, this is what they tell you, but you got to think, what are they not telling you? Or what are they not saying about the situation? Oh, he did this, that, and the other. Okay, that's what you say. Okay, but what's behind the story? Why did we do this? Or what's going to happen with this? So you got to keep thinking about that too. So this has been, uh, for me, it's been a learning experience. I want to talk to my wife and my son about this situation and just put my take, my take in, you know, you know, they, you know, it's a learning experience and life is a learning experience. Definitely. Anyway. Well, um, if you guys like the video, uh, please comment, um, and subscribe. I'm, I'm also, uh, a life coach and an executive coach leadership coach so if you have any uh, need of me of my services i am uh, i would definitely like to talk to you at least um, talk uh, about some ways that maybe we could do some business so um a shameless plug but we're here on this earth to help and to serve so i'm trying to serve you by putting this video out and also just to um, lay some wisdom down to you guys. I'm, you know, we all need a little bit of help every day. So, um, so with Chris Rock, I, I wish him the best. I don't, I don't, I don't have any animosity to him. Mr. Smith, Will Smith, I have no animosity to him. I know what happened, and I, we all been in that situation uh, where our emotions got the best of us, and uh, you know, and you know, just just the whole thing is just learn from the situation. Uh, a wise man learns from his mistakes, and that's what we have to do. Uh, man, woman, we all um, have to learn by our own mistakes. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to say, live long and prosper. Dilly dilly, that's my that's my title. <laughs> so, uh, you guys have a great week, a uh, prosperous week, and um, you know, uh, go get some exercise. Stay away from the TV. Read some good books, nonfiction books. Educate yourself. Uh, stay away from the TV. It's not good for you. Anyway, you guys take care. Bye.